Moving on, Israel's Foreign Minister Yair Lapid is on a two-day visit to Morocco to seal ties with the country after agreeing to normalize relations. The two nations have signed three accords on political consultations, aviation and culture. Today we are changing this. Today we are changing this for the benefit of tourism and economy, for trade and cultural exchange, for friendship and cooperation. This moment will improve our lives because this is what peace does. War ends life while peace cultivates them. Today we are not being good politicians, Minister. We are being good parents. Today we are making the world a safer place for our children. We are teaching them a lesson about the power of hope. Morocco's Foreign Minister Nasser Bourita said that during his talks with Lapid, the situation in Israel and the Palestinian territories were raised. He stressed upon the rapid return of direct and serious negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians. Both ministers emphasized that the age-old heritage of Jews in Israel is linked to Morocco. The U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called Lapid's visit significant for Israel, Morocco and the broader region. The statement said, and I quote, the United States will work with Israel and Morocco to strengthen all aspects of our partnerships and create a more peaceful, secure and prosperous future for all the people of the Middle East. The two-day trip will be concluded by the inauguration of Israel's liaison mission in Rabat. The American embassy in Rabat said that ties between the two countries generated quote-unquote real benefits for both sides, including direct commercial flights and economic cooperation. Lapid's visit comes a little over two weeks after direct flights were started between Israel and Morocco. Lapid's Morocco visit is the first by an Israeli minister since 2003 and the first since signing of the Abraham Accord. Last year, the two nations had struck the deal after former U.S. President Donald Trump contested Morocco's sovereignty in Western Sahara. Morocco was the fourth Arab state to establish ties with Israel after the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Sudan. The move infuriated Palestinians as it shattered the long-standing Arab consensus that there should be no normalization until Israel agrees to a comprehensive and lasting peace. Morocco had reassured the Palestinian president, Mahmoud Abbas, after the normalization of ties that the country would continue to support the Palestinian cause. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.